guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, I have another cooking vlog for you guys. I missed posting videos like this because it's very rare nowadays that I even get to post anything. But today, I'm going to share with you guys something that I love to cook at home. Not only for myself, but also for my family. So for today, we're going to make restaurant-style fried rice. So before we get started, let me share with you guys the ingredients first. Here it is. Ganitong ganito lang siya kasimple. Konting konti lang yung mga ingredients na kailangan. Pero sobrang sarap. Ang kalabasan niya is restaurant style fried rice. Hindi siya yung parang regular fried rice na ginagawa lang natin sa bahay. We are going to elevate it a little bit para naman meron tayong ma-experience na restaurant feeling sa bahay kahit hindi tayo nakakalabas nowadays kasi nga you know it's not very safe but at least we can make restaurant style meals at home so you're going to need rice ang perfect na gamitin is day old rice para medyo dry siya hindi soft and then you're going to need mixed veg this is up to you kung ano yung vegetables na gusto nyong gamitin. Ako, binibili ko na yung pack sa grocery, the frozen mixed vegetables. Tapos, binoboil ko na lang siya. And then, I mix it with my fried rice. But, kakaiba-iba tayong preferences. Baka may iba kayong gusto. But, this is carrots, corn, and green peas. And then, we're going to need seasoning. And then, we have two eggs. Onions, of course. And then, these are our secret ingredients. Ito yung mga magpapa-elevate sa ating restaurant-style fried rice. At ito ang magpapasarap at magbibigay ng lasa sa ating fried rice. Ito yung ginagamit namin sa bahay every time we make Asian-inspired dishes. Or if we just wanna elevate our meals, we put sesame oil. So if you guys love to make Asian or Asian variety meals at home, sesame oil ang secret ingredient para meron talagang aroma aromatic flavor yung Asian inspired dishes nyo and not only that this is why we choose good life because this is made from roasted sesame seed oil so you only expect the best from good life products that's why most of our products at home are from good life we also have oyster sauce from good life so ito yung gagamitin natin yan this this adds a lot of flavor with only minimal oyster sauce kahit maglagay ka ng konting konting oyster sauce talagang lasang lasa mo na yung oyster sauce sa kahit anumang niluluto mo because this is full of flavor and then this is one that i really really want to share with you guys this is the Good Life Minced Garlic. It's bathed in sunflower oil to preserve it. So this is the greatest invention I've ever seen because it's so hard for me to chop things. Like, I love to cook, but chopping is just not my forte. So this just totally reduced my cooking time to a lot. So this is the Good Life Fresh Minced Garlic. So if you open it, let me just... This is a new batch. Let me just... These... <laughs> Kukumpahiyain. Magukas ka! May mong hirap. So this is what it looks like. Kukunin nyo na lang siya from the jar. And then, ready to cook na kayo. This is why I super love this. Thank you, Good Life, for this great invention. So there you go. And then we're also gonna need chicken cube. So that's about it. Oh, and of course, salt and pepper to taste. So hindi ko na siya inad dito dahil nandun siya sa kusina. So these are the ingredients. Let's get cooking. Okay guys, let's get started with our restaurant style fried rice. I love to cook this at home because personally, I love fried rice. As in, di nyo maintindihan yung love ko for fried rice. I have tried a lot of variation of so many things that I've actually shared online. I've done adobo fried rice, spam fried rice. I've also elevated my spam fried rice. I added sesame oil and it's amazing. So I'm gonna share that on a different vlog next time. And this, this is the restaurant style fried rice. Ito yung normally na ino order nyo sa restaurant, any restaurants in general. So, normally itong restaurant style fried rice nyo, it's sa iba't ibang preference tayo. Itong gagawin ko, this is the most basic one. And I'm just going to show you guys how I elevate it. How we turn something simple to something that can be served in a restaurant. But a lot of people, if you guys mahilig kayo sa meat at gusto nyo lagyan ng meat itong restaurant style fried rice recipe ko, pwedeng pa din yung gawin. You can add chicken, you can eat pork, you can add seafood, beef, anything on under the sun that you please but basically this is the base ito yung basic version we are just gonna elevate it into a restaurant style fried rice so let's get to it mainit na yung ating pan i'm gonna put a little bit of oil 
konti lang kasi magiging oily yung ating fried rice. Ayoko yun. Now, we're gonna get the Good Life Fresh Minced Garlic. I'm gonna get my teaspoon. Then, let's just add the garlic. Okay, so nilagay na natin yung ating minced garlic. Now, let's add our onions. There you go. I'll just get my spatula here and mix it. Okay, so antayin lang natin maluto to ng konti. Tapos, i-add ko na ang ating kanin. There you go. Iba-iba yung steps para gumawa ng fried rice or fried rice in general. A lot of you, minsan, hindi pa nilalagay yung kanin. Towards the end siya nilalagay. Ako, I like to put it together with the onion and garlic para lasang-lasa agad nung rice yung flavor ng onion at saka ng garlic. Ayan. Para masoak niya na, ma-absorb niya na agad yung lasa. So, yan. Kondi na lang. Maa-add na natin ang ating kanin. And then, we're gonna add these two babies. Ito talaga ang aking secret ingredient sa aking restaurant-styled fried rice. Ito talagang dalawa, most especially the sesame oil. Ito talaga yung nagpapa-elevate ng restaurant-style fried rice ko. Kaya siya restaurant-like because, yun nga, because of its aroma flavor of the sesame oil. ba diba? So, it reminds you of the restaurant, your favorite Chinese restaurant, or alam mo yun, yung parang feeling mo kumakain ka sa labas kahit nasa bahay ka lang naman. There you go. Add na natin ang ating kanin. Bahala kayo kung gano'ng kadami yung kanin na gusto nyo. Wala namang preference. Depende rin kasi yan kung ilan yung kakain. Doon ko siya talaga binibase. Since tatlo lang naman kami dito sa bahay, I don't have to really cook so much. So, there you go. So, it's always best when it comes to your rice na day-old rice siya para medyo dry. Kasi mas masarap pang fried rice kapag hindi soft yung kanin. Ewan ko, I don't know about you guys kung ano yung preference nyo. Put your suggestions or your opinions down below kung paano, kung ano ba yung gusto nyo sa fried rice nyo. Kung gusto nyo ba na medyo dry yung kanin or medyo basa-basa. Ako kasi ayoko ng basa-basa. Parang I feel like it defeats the purpose of eating fried rice. ba? Diba? So, ayan. I'm just gonna mix that. As you can see, sinangag na siya as of right now. Iba na itsura niyan mamaya. Okay, mag-alala. There you go. So, we have here, we're gonna put our seasoning. There you go. Actually, with this, hindi ko na kailangan maglagay ng salt. Pepper na lang ilalagay ko because marami na tayong ilalagay. We have oyster sauce. The Good Life oyster sauce is full of flavor. So, it really comes from oyster extract. So, marami talaga yung flavor. Kahit konti lang ilagay mo, lasang-lasa mo talaga siya. So, hindi mo, really, hindi mo talaga kailangan maglagay ng sobrang daming salt. Actually, ako, pag gawagawa ako ng fried rice, sa ganito kadami yung mga ingredients na, na medyo salty, hindi na ako naglalagay ng salt. Pepper na lang talaga. Sunod natin ang ating oyster sauce. Actually, no. Let's just eyeball it, no? Here. Let's put our oyster sauce. This is my favorite from Good Life. Dami kong favorite na product doon and this is one of them. The Good Life oyster sauce. There you go. Let's just mix that with the rice. Look at it. Come closer, babe. Show them. Tingnan mo yan, oh. Amoy pa lang, guys. Sana talaga nakakaamoy ang mga video. Para na alam nyo na grabe to. Woo! Love the smell. There you go. Okay, now let's add our mixed veg. This is green peas, corn, and carrots. There you go. O, tignan nyo, diba? Ang daming kulay. I love these colors. Kaya ito yung mga pinipili ko na vegetable for my fried rice. But iba't-ibang preference yan. Kasi yung ibang tao, they like spring onions, they like celery with their fried rice. Ako ito talaga because look at the colors. It's so festive. I love it. It just makes it more restaurant style like. And then we are going to add our chicken cube. I opt to use chicken cube for that little bit of chicken taste in our fried rice. But again, like what I said kanina, pwede kayong maglagay ng shredded chicken, you can put ground pork, ground beef, or if you're a seafood kind of person, pwedeng seafood din ang ilagay nyo. Kanya-kanyang trip lang yan. But ito, this is the basic style na ginagawa ko dito sa bahay. Most especially, kasi hindi lang naman ito yung kinakain. I, we normally pair this with an ulam talaga. So, minsan, hindi ko na talaga siya nilalagyan ng meat kasi hindi kailangan. Fried rice ang yung ginagawa ko and then we pair it with something else normally. So, ayan. Ito na ang aking secret ingredient. This is the Good Life Sesame Oil. I love this because this is made from roasted sesame seed oil. Plus, it's very aromatic. Nakakabango talaga siya ng meal. And not only that, it is perfect for Asian 
Asian inspired dishes. It adds so much flavor. That Asian flavor na gustong gusto natin or hinahanap hanap natin. Sobrang bango niya. Whew, sana naamoy niyo to, guys. This is what I mean by elevating it because it really smells like it came from a restaurant. That you ordered it from a restaurant. That's why I super love putting sesame oil. Like, whew, it smells so amazing. And not only that, it is very flavorful. This is perfect for soups, fried rice, also dips. Alam na natin mga pag nagko-Korean tayo, di ba? We like sesame oil. This is very versatile. Pwede mo siyang gamitin sa maraming dishes. Most especially Asian-inspired dishes. So there you go. Last touch is our egg. Ayan. So, sa last part ko nilalagay ang egg para talagang mahalo siya. Makikita niyo bakit. Ayan, o, see? There. And then, I mix it until it's dry na. Kasi medyo mabasa pa siya ngayon dahil, syempre, fresh pa yung egg. But once you keep mixing it, ayan, it joins the other ingredients na absorb siya nung kanin. Kaya sa, sa end ko talaga siya nilalagay. Some people put it during the start of them cooking the rice. Ako talaga, towards the end ko talaga siya nilalagay. It's the last ingredient that I put there. As you can see, di ba kanina mabasa-basa siya? Ngayon, nagda-dry na yung ating kanin. There. Ah, it smells so good. I'm so excited to eat. It's lunchtime right now. So, ito yung ginagawa ko for lunch. O, di ba? You don't even have to go out na sa bahay nyo kasi marami kayong kayang-kayang gawin sa bahay na akala nyo, very simple dishes, nakakamiss lumabas, but you know what? Once you like start experimenting and making meals like this at home, na gumagawa kayo ng mga restaurant-style meals at home para naman you don't miss the outside world so much, di ba? And you still get to indulge and enjoy the meals that you eat at home. So yeah, that's one of the things also that I have been doing during this pandemic. Learning new recipes and elevating them. So there you go. This is our fried rice. I am just going to add... Bababa ko na. Papatayin ko na yung fire ko. Let's just add pepper. And then we are done. I am ready to serve my restaurant-style fried rice. There you go. Okay guys, we are ready to serve. This is our restaurant style fried rice. I'm very proud of this. And if you guys try this at home, please do tag me with the hashtag Danny made me do it. This is really one of the things na masasabi ko talaga na very very proud ako. One of my favorite things to cook at home. Very simple, but you see, something so simple can be turned into a restaurant style fried rice. So, it is possible guys. I know that nowadays, it's hard that we don't get to go out and eat out with our loved ones. But you can also enjoy restaurant style meals at home. Yeah. This is my version of a restaurant-style fried rice. I hope when you guys try it at home, you'll love it as much as everyone does here at home. As much as I love it. Parang mali ating sandok na ginamit ko. So anyway, there you go. Let's try it so you guys can see. This is my restaurant-style fried rice. Ready to eat. Come on. Okay guys, so ito na. Itatry ko na yung ating restaurant-style fried rice para makita nyo first-hand kung ano ba. Ang bango niya. Grabe. Amoy na amoy ko yung sesame oil. Kaya talaga ang hili ko maglagay na sesame oil sa mga fried rice ko because it's so aromatic. Oh my God. Hmm. Ito talaga masasabi ko, no fail. Ang galing-galing ko gumawa. Hmm. I hope you do try this at home, guys. And when you do, don't forget to tag me. Okay. Anyway, I'm going share na ako. See you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. No, no, lang ako. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do try this at home, please do tag me with the hashtag DannyMadeMeDoIt. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!